Picture a man with round spots on his fingers, not just any spots but ones so peculiar they prompt doctors to call the police. Meet our protagonist, an ordinary American man living an ordinary life. One day he starts to notice something unusual. Strange round spots begin to appear on his fingers. These are not your typical freckles or age spots. They are odd, inexplicable, and unlike any common skin condition. The spots have a unique pattern, a certain symmetry that seems almost deliberate. They spark curiosity, raise eyebrows, and set his mind racing with questions. What could they be? Are they harmful? Why are they there? He tries to ignore them but they persist, growing more prominent with each passing day. He has no idea that these spots are just the tip of the iceberg, the first piece of a puzzle that's about to unfold. Our man is oblivious, unaware that his life is about to take an unexpected turn. Little did he know these spots were the first clue to a mystery that would soon unravel. Concerned and curious the man decides to consult a dermatologist. Stepping into the sterile white room, he extends his hand, the odd round spots on his finger stealing the show. His heart pounds in his chest as he awaits the verdict, hoping for answers. The doctor, a seasoned professional with countless years of experience under her belt, furrows her brow. She's seen many skin conditions in her time but this one is different. She looks closer, her eyes narrowing as she inspects the strange marks. The spots, weirdly round and uniform are unlike anything she's ever seen. She prods, she probes but the puzzle only deepens. The room fills with a silent tension, the usually confident doctor now mirroring the man's confusion and concern. The dermatologist realizing that this is beyond her expertise, decides to call in a colleague, and then another. One by one, they file into the room, their faces a mirror of the bafflement that's beginning to feel like the day's theme. The medical professionals huddle, their whispers a quiet symphony of medical jargon. They scribble notes, exchange theories, but the mystery remains. The man's condition, his weird round spots continue to baffle them. The room buzzes with the energy of a mystery that refuses to be solved. Deciding that this needs a deeper look, the doctors order a series of tests. Blood tests, skin biopsies and scans, they leave no stone unturned. The man, though anxious, complies hoping that these tests will shed light on his peculiar condition. Days turn into weeks as the medical professionals dig deeper, the man's weird round spots becoming the talk of the hospital, but each test result only adds another layer to the mystery. No known condition fits the bill, no textbook offers answers. The doctors, usually the bearers of knowledge and certainty, are left scratching their heads. But the test results only added to the confusion leading to an unexpected turn of events. The doctors in their pursuit of answers, stumble upon a revelation that's about as far from dermatology as one could get. The mystery of the man's weird round spots was about to take a turn no one saw coming. In a twist that no one saw coming the doctors dial 911. The medical examination room, typically a safe haven for the distressed, transforms into the starting point of an unexpected criminal investigation. Now you might be wondering why would doctors call the police over a medical condition? Well it's not every day that a seemingly ordinary skin ailment raises alarms of a potentially darker reality. The test results had come back and they were anything but ordinary. The round spots on our man's fingers weren't just weird they were downright suspicious. The doctors, trained to observe and discern, noticed something peculiar in the pathology report. The spots they discovered contained trace elements not commonly found in the human body. These elements as it turned out were closely associated with a specific type of illegal activity. Suddenly the medical narrative took a sharp turn. The doctors bound by their professional obligation had to report their findings. They were no longer dealing with just an unusual skin condition. They were potentially dealing with something that reached far beyond the realm of medicine and into the world of criminal activity. In the blink of an eye, the police were involved. The hospital room, once filled with the sterile scent of antiseptics, was now buzzing with the tension of an impending investigation. The doctors, once healers, were now witnesses. And our man, once just an ordinary patient, was now under the scrutinizing gaze of law enforcement. The round spots on his fingers, initially seen as just a medical oddity, were now being viewed as potential evidence in a criminal investigation. The police, with their trained eyes, began to look at the spots not as a disease, but as a clue. A clue that could potentially unravel a mystery far bigger than anyone had initially imagined. Suddenly, our man was not just a patient but also a person of interest. What started as a medical mystery turned into a police investigation. 
The enigma of the round spots on the man's finger had suddenly become the cornerstone of a much larger puzzle. The mysterious spots, once just a curious medical anomaly, now assumed a pivotal role in the unfolding investigation. The police, diving headfirst into the case, went to great lengths to unravel the mystery. They began by scrutinizing every facet of the man's life, looking for any piece of the puzzle that could shed light on the bizarre spots. The man's background was checked meticulously, leaving no stone unturned. His history, relationships, activities, everything was placed under the microscope. Each detail was examined, each memory sifted through, each connection analyzed. The investigators dug into the man's past, searching for any clue, any hint that could explain the unusual markings on his finger. As the investigation progressed, the mystery surrounding the spots only seemed to deepen. Every lead seemed to end in a dead end, every theory only led to more questions. The spots remained an enigma, a baffling piece of evidence in a case that was becoming increasingly complex. But the police were not deterred. They pressed on, undaunted by the lack of progress. They knew that the key to unraveling the mystery lay in the peculiar round spots on the man's finger. They were determined to find the truth, no matter how elusive it proved to be. The investigation took a turn, however, when the police made an unexpected discovery. In the midst of their relentless pursuit of the truth, they stumbled upon a shocking revelation. A revelation that would change the course of the investigation and shed new light on the man and his mysterious spots. But as the police dug deeper, they discovered something shocking. The spots on the man's finger were not a disease, but a map. Astonishing as it sounds, the strange round spots that had caught everyone's attention were not random. They were in fact a coded message, a clandestine form of communication known as steganography. The revelation was as shocking as it was fascinating. Imagine, a man's finger acting as a cipher, a conduit for hidden messages. It was like something out of a spy novel, yet this was reality, and the implications were far-reaching. The coded spots led investigators on a wild goose chase, a labyrinth of twists and turns that eventually led them to a criminal network. The network had been operating right under the noses of law enforcement, using unsuspecting individuals, like our protagonist, to transmit coded messages. Each spot on the man's finger represented a piece of the puzzle, and when pieced together, they formed a map. A map that revealed the locations and operations of this criminal network. The man unknowingly had been a part of something much bigger, much darker than he could ever have imagined. This revelation was not just about solving a medical mystery, it was about exposing a criminal network that had been operating in the shadows. It was about justice, about ensuring that those who exploit others are held accountable for their actions. But as the dust settled, one thing became abundantly clear. The man whose unusual condition had sparked this entire investigation was not the villain in this story. He was the victim, an innocent pawn in a dangerous game of cat and mouse. In an unexpected turn of events the man was not the culprit, but a victim. The spots on his finger which had once seemed like a curse, had become his salvation, leading to the unraveling of a criminal network, and his eventual vindication. From an unusual skin condition to a police investigation, this was a mystery no one could have predicted. What began as a simple visit to the doctor for an ordinary man with weird round spots on his finger, soon spiraled into a situation nobody could have foreseen. These seemingly innocuous spots were the breadcrumbs that led to the unraveling of a convoluted criminal network, a confounding puzzle that had the medical and law enforcement communities scratching their heads until they discovered the truth lurking beneath the surface. The aftermath was just as astonishing as the journey. The man, once an unsuspecting patient became a key witness in a case that shook the city to its core. His life took a turn, forever marked by the strange spots that started it all. In the end, this tale is more than just a series of unexpected events. It's a stark reminder that sometimes, the most peculiar mysteries can be hidden in plain sight.